This is the week that I have been waiting for for so long. We are doing a fall refresh for my home. We are transitioning my closet from spring and summer to fall and winter. Yes, it's a little early in Texas. It's okay. Dress for the weather you want, not the weather you have. We are also planting all of the fall plants for the garden. We're doing a little garage clean out and we are finally starting on my sourdough journey, which spoiler alert, I'm actually loving. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Hey y'all, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. It's 11 a.m. and I'm on my way to a run. It rained all morning, so Macy and I woke up at 6 a.m. to run and it was raining. I've taken some calls, I've gotten some work done, and now we're going on a little lunch break run. Our 10K is next weekend, so we're gonna do a 40 minute run right now. This week, we are organizing my house, getting it ready for fall, transitioning my closet over, planting my new fall garden. It's gonna be so good. All right, y'all, I have a 4.3 mile run. Are you excited? Yes. Macy's joined us on our running journey in the past month or so, and she's yes. killing it. Thank you, you just had to rip off the band-aid. Yeah, I had to rip off the band-aid. We, we had to tell her that we knew she wasn't gonna do the right race with us. It was yeah, reverse psychology. Literally. So we're on our way. It rained this morning. It's drizzling a little bit out right now. I'm gonna listen to Gracie Abrams. And I'm gonna listen to Chaperone. And that's just, just the difference. <laughs> that's just the difference with us. <laughs> This is gonna be me all week. I'm home for my run, I did some yard work, I showered, and I'm actually about to make a little floral arrangement from my cut flower garden, which is exciting. Tonight, we are planting all of our new fall plants for the gardens, which I'm really excited for. Fitz is going to get a bath for sure. Look at him, Oh, he's so perfect. If y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe. I post a new video every single week. truly never be over this bathroom like it is possibly my favorite room in this house and it is the one that I use the least because it's the guest bath but this wallpaper is just so good I'll link it below I have an entire section on my shop my everything including wallpaper room by room it's all linked if you guys ever have questions I just updated that very recently but like it just looks insane I'm going to set a timer for 25 minutes and I'm going to go through my garage and organize to the best of my ability. <sighs> You'll see. It's not looking too good. I'll be, I'll be honest. All right, guys. Just wait. It's just so cluttered. Honestly, this might not take me as long as I thought to organize. But the problem is that I don't have lighting in here. Like, I'll show you. That, and then it starts flickering. Okay, well, now that I'm trying to show you, it's not doing that. Oh, there we go. It's very annoying. My dream is to turn this into a wellness garage. So I have my sauna already. Then I would put a cold plunge right next to it. And then I obviously have my treadmill, my um, TV. And then, I, I don't know, I want to make it this whole wellness thing, especially post-run. So I'm on the market for a cold plunge still. It's been literally a year. But it just keeps getting pushed and pushed on my back burner. So... All right, timer for, let's do 20 minutes. I think that's all you really need. You'd be surprised. All 
All right, gonna be real, I did about 10 minutes, but I actually got a lot done. The issue is that these chairs, I have so many chairs between this and my dining table, I don't know where I'm gonna put them, and then other stuff, like I actually need to take elsewhere, things that I just like can't do right now. I need my mom and my grandma to come out here, it would take us an hour, and this entire space would be so clean, but like these, with the steps, obviously Coco can't use those anymore, so I need to donate those. Just kind of stuff like that, that I just can't do right now, but I feel like I've made good movement, and I can at least have a walkway through the garage, so that makes it feel good. It's really hot in here. In a dream, dream world, I would have new cabinets built out. I have my whole like seed station over here, which I'm obviously not using right now. I will start in a couple months, actually, so that will be in use pretty soon. I would love new cabinets, just like money I don't want to spend right now, but that would be so helpful because then I'd have better storage. I have everything under here organized. The hosting closet is looking stunning, of course. I'm obsessed. Don't mind the wallpaper mess up there. Okay guys, um, I just filmed some TikToks. If this, I just wanna address this clutter here, it's bothering me too. Okay, I feel like this is a little better. Okay, so I am going to lock in and get some of my computer work done that I need to get done today. But I did wanna say, um, I recorded this episode and it's actually like one of my favorite solo episodes I've ever done. It's episode 298 of House Guest Podcast. Um, you might wanna watch it on YouTube too. I don't know if this is, before after let me check i don't think that i filmed this episode this is probably before i was recording every single episode so all of our current ones you can watch this one you can listen to it's episode 298 and that was a rewind run i know i recorded this episode at least two years ago i should probably do a part two but i haven't even gotten to what, what it is it's titled you're not behind examples of those who have achieved success later in life so if you are ever feeling overwhelmed, you're like, you have to get everything done by 30. That's such a real thing. Even by 22, like I remember, I've been doing this in this game since I was 16. I remember feeling like at 19, I had to have like all of this stuff. And that's so insane. Like you're such a baby, even at 27, like I'm such a baby, but it really does feel that way. And I think lately I've just had, I've been kind of comparing myself a little bit. It's really been getting me down. I feel like I've just been off. I feel like I'm in my flop era to begin with, which I feel like is, how many times can I say I feel like, which is where, you know, like September is a new January came from and I'm really trying to get out of it. Yeah, and then on top of that, I was just kind of comparing myself and I made myself like stop watching content that was making me like feel bad about myself. It's by no means those people's fault. It's totally like a me thing. And just like where I'm at emotionally, I've been having a really, really hard time grief wise and it just makes every other emotion like that much worse. So anyways, I just recorded a TikTok. The reason it's top of mind is I filmed TikTok talking about all of these people who've achieved success later in life. And actually the thought came back to me because I've been rewatching Law & Order. I was in LA this weekend. Keaton got engaged. That was the big surprise. It was really, really, really amazing. Um, but I was staying with Dom. We were watching Law & Order. And of course, with every single TV show that I watch, guys, like I have got to know every single thing about every single person in that. Like, for example, Elliot in real life is like distant relatives to Nancy Pelosi, Mar uh, Mariska, who is, I hope I'm saying that right, who plays Olivia Benson, didn't get that role until she was 35, which made me start thinking like, wow, she has been playing this character for 25 plus years, and it's obviously like her biggest life work. It just got me thinking like, that's so cool that that happened at 35, even though 35 is obviously still so young. But like Martha Stewart didn't write her first cookbook until 41. Julia Childs didn't release her first cookbook until 50. Steve Carell didn't get the office until his 40s. Anyways, if this is a topic that you're interested in, I just posted a real a TikTok and a podcast episode on it. Um, and it makes me feel so much better because it's like, we have time. Also, how boring would it be if everything that we are meant to do in life we had to do by 30 even? And that's being generous. Like, I love stories of people who take an entire different career path like in their 60s. I just think it's so cool 
I like how just Trish is on in the background as I'm having this like serious talk, but I just think it's so cool to not put yourself in a box and to not have that pressure and to look at life like life is long, even though obviously life is short and with grief I know more than anything, but it doesn't mean that you need to rush every aspect of your life so much so that you're giving yourself anxiety and you're stressing yourself out over it. And honestly, I think the more you achieve, that feeling doesn't go away. Like the feeling is completely internal and it's something that we all have to work on if it's something that you struggle with. Achieving X, Y, and Z is only gonna make you want to achieve more and feel like you need to achieve a lot more. Like, it doesn't matter what you do, even achieving your goals, like this feeling doesn't necessarily go away. It's kind of like when they say, if you don't save when you have $100, you're not gonna save when you have $1,000. It's like that kind of same sentiment. Like if you're feeling this way now, you're gonna continue to feel that way then. So anyways, just food for thought on the topic of comparison. I also talked about this on TikTok. I've been very chatty on TikTok lately. Here is my little advice for if you're dealing with comparison. Number one, actually guys, I should have turned my TV off so I have that cute art in the background, but whatever. Number one, audit who you're following on social media, okay? I love to follow all the girlies, everyone who does kind of like a similar thing as me. Like I love that, a lot of them are my friends. I love that, like that isn't even really what always always bothering me. I also really love, and I think this is actually the cure for a comparison, to follow people who have literally nothing to do with what I'm doing or my life. I like to follow like grandma gardeners. I love Tim from New York, I follow a girl in the North Pole. Like people who are doing such different things than me, it's really inspiring to me because they're not in like, just kind of the monotony of like a lifestyle influencer or whatever it might be. And they're just showing me something so different and I'm not comparing myself because I'm not them and I'm not living their life. Which is how we should look at every single person regardless of if they're doing something that we think is similar to us or not. Unfortunately, that isn't like the natural way, if you will. So I would recommend following people that are either comfort creators or people that have literally nothing to do with what you are doing or what you want to do in life. I think there's it's a good mix. You do need to have people who like inspire you and push you. Number two, go on a walk with no music, no podcast, nothing. Silent walk that's got flamed on everything I know, but it's not crazy for this to be a concept because I feel like most of the time when you're on a walk these days, just with like the technology that we have, we're always listening to podcasts, we're on the phone with someone, we're music, whatever. We never have time to just sit and think and clear our minds, our brains, you know? So I think silent walk is gonna help you. Touch some grass while we're there. I'm being so for real right now. Next thing, read a fiction book. Fiction books are meant to be enjoyed. It's something that's only for you and you deserve that. We're not like just working bodies. Like you need to have time to, for what? For some R&R &R was what I was trying to say because you deserve that. You're a lot more than just what you do career wise or trying to be something by a certain age or feeling like you need to be married with kids by 30 whatever or you need to have x amount of money in the bank or you, like we're so much more than that and i think that those practices could hopefully help hopefully it does help me um so that's just like my few pieces of advice not that literally anyone asked but um, I just know typically when I'm going through stuff, like that's why I love YouTube. When I talk to you guys, so many of y'all feel similarly to me and it makes me feel like I'm not crazy and I'm not alone. So if any of that resonated with you, please let me know in the comments below actually because it does really help. Like when you guys say like I'm feeling that way as well, it really helps. And it also lets me know like what I should probably like lean into more content wise because like I'm always down to have like bigger conversations around this, especially in the podcast. Um, so I have to go because now I'm just printing off work and I need to get some stuff done, some contracts sent. So love y'all. We'll talk soon.
it just got dark so I haven't been able to film what the garden looks like that'll be coming in the morning but it was amazing I don't know if I explained this before this is just another good example of me not ever being able to half ass anything in my life Bobby I met at the farmers market he sells plants at the farmers market I bought broccoli and cauliflower from him like last I don't know, actually even know when I bought it and I asked him some questions about the garden. Anyways, I followed him on Instagram because he has a gardening Instagram account. If you guys live in Dallas and you want any sort of plant, like herbs, you want to start maybe a little cute vegetable garden, something small, like literally even a pot on your balcony if you live in an apartment, he's the best. And also he knows so much and he's just so helpful. Um, I'll have his Instagram here. Anyways, I go to the White Rock Farmer's Market. I do get questions about which farmer's market I go to. I go to Good Locals at White Rock on Saturday mornings. So I purchased from him. Anyways. He came over and did my fall garden today and now I'm like trying to build this business. Like I have so many ideas and like I just made a whole doc, I emailed it to him, I've connected him with like four people. I am really on one. But it's so mean to like meet the man at the farmer's market and have him come over to my house and like get really extreme with like the hobby that I'm doing. And then it's even more me to like build a business from it. Anyways, it's just me and Coco. Fitz is over there. I'm gonna shower and go to bed. I have a lot of energy. I was crashing earlier and now honestly this building this garden business has really gotten me on high if you guys are in dallas i want him to start like consulting for gardens so going and like starting a garden for people if you guys are interested dm him as of right now um to get a gauge but it can be cute even if it's just like a little herb garden a vegetable garden on your you know on your patio whatever it might be gardening has been so therapeutic for me especially in the past year it has been a lifesaver for me Love, 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 love gardening. It's really been amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. I have dirt all over me. I need to shower. Um, I have two pairs of these overalls, and I basically just wear them 24 7. Hi, y'all. Good morning. My coffee is back here. I'm wearing the best baggy jeans. They're linked on my Shop My. By the way, y'all, my Shop My is so detailed it is so much better than ltk if you guys are ever interested in anything like i'm doing rooms for or i'm doing shelves on there for every room in my house i'm doing all of my everyday makeup all of my everyday skincare like if you have questions about basically anything like you don't even have to ask me it's all in my shop mind i even go into detail on like if i size up these jeans i did size up these jeans but everything is linked there i just styled my hair for me to throw it back um today is wednesday i just got back from my workout and I got ready, today is an organizing day, and this button keeps popping. I'm going to lose it. There's no way I'm gonna wear this shirt today. We're starting our sourdough journey as well. Jack is coming over, Jack is a friend of mine, she's a stylist, she's gonna come help me with my closet, and we're just gonna go through some like fall stuff. And then she's also going to teach me sourdough because she's already done sourdough a bunch. I got this starter, I've shown it before, but Molly, this is what she uses, and I got it on TikTok shop. That is 2024 for you. I need to drink my coffee and play some music. Really hoping I don't hate sourdough. Like, it kind of feels like I might, honestly. I want to show you all the garden, but it's just really rainy and gloomy right now. So we're going to do that later, and then tonight I have a dinner. Getting to it, I have some hot candles burning. It feels so good in here. And we're doing, oh, I don't know if I said this, but for the closet, it's like a fall transition. perfect thing for my belts i went on tiktok and i looked up or maybe pinterest belt organization and i saw this and i want to see how i like it the only thing is i didn't know if i was going to like the look of acrylic stuff in this closet but it did make me think i'm also i ordered some for my purses back here that are just kind of dividers so they're a little bit more organized i don't know if i'm gonna like it so i will um return if not and ideally i would put my belt out over here so i would figure maybe i have to put them over there i don't know i'd figure something out the issue is we've got five spots and i've got a lot of belts 
So I think I'm going to start with the ones that are all the same color and then just go from there and see how I like this method before I buy more because at the same time I'm like, I just have so many I don't really know where they would go. Okay, update on the belt organization. I love this. I don't know where I'm gonna keep it in my closet because obviously there's a lot of bags here. I might be able to organize it to where I have all of my belts down here if I just do it in a row. That would be the most ideal. So um, I actually might try to figure that out today. So we'll see, but I really like it. I'll have it linked below. I'm gonna do an entire shop my thing as well with linking all of my belts because I'm very passionate about my belts. I love them. I just got this new one from Cezanne and I wear belts. Oh, I actually got two new ones from Cezanne. This leopard one as well. Leopard is so in. It's just so fun. Anyways, I love, love, love a belt in the fall and winter. I wear them 24-7. These are obviously the same belt from Revolve and they're like $40. They're the most inexpensive. I've talked about these belts so many times, like literally so many times. So, love. Alright guys, okay, why? Like, look at this. Alright y'all, we're starting on the sourdough journey. Jack has done sourdough in the past, so to me she's an expert. So, I really just need a moral support. Okay. I've actually only had one successful loaf. And that's I've made me? probably seven. Okay, well, so that's we're in this together. together. We're in this together. Yeah, we are. But I'm doing it like a way easier way apparently with this. Yeah, no, this is <gasps> kind of like a cheat sheet. It's from Hendersonville, Tennessee. That's where Taylor's from to high school. Cute. So cute, I know someone who lives there. I, the issue is that I lost the instructions. Nervous because, okay, did you go here? To the website? Oh no, I haven't done that yet. Good. Let's, yeah. let's look at the website. Okay, so that's a genius plan. We'll start there. Imagine if I got into sourdough in the pandemic. I would like. You probably have a business. This right now. no, this would be me. I know. It would. I would be making so much money on sourdough. You totally. Would. Like I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I don't know if this is for me. Like I don't know if this is gonna be something that I'm like so obsessed with. But it's so me. Like it's shocking that I haven't done it yet. And like I've been, I just need to do it. No, that's why it's hilarious. You're asking me to help. Because I don't think it's very me. Well, I, so I love that I'm the one helping you get. You're the sorry. only one that I like <laughs> know that's done it here, though. Like I have done it. This is the Southern Sourdough Company, by the way, for anyone who's interested. Says you recommend you starting your starter <laughs> in the morning. If you start at night, you'll miss the starter's peak, but it's fine. It's 1 p.m. But I can just feed it in the morning, starting tomorrow. Yes. Okay. okay. Let's go over the process of rehydrating Eve, our dehydrated sourdough starters. Activity happening. With Watch me say, like, I don't know how into it I'm going to be. And, like, next month there's, like, sourdough merch. I'm talking about my whole line. <laughs> it's like I have a bakery going. Just super. I'm at, the, I'm at the farmer's market next to Bobby from the garden, like literally. Perfect timing. But like what's also nice is like if either one of us, like if you start again, or if either one of us is out of town, and like we don't want to go in the fridge, you can babysit it. No, totally. The fact that we oh, have to well, find you have to name it. Mine's name is um, Jaw Roll. Okay, let me think about mine. <laughs> when I went to go pick it up from my friend, she was babysitting it, mm -hmm. it was newly born. And Caitlin was like, I was like, I need to name it. And Caitlin was like, jaw roll, because it was in it. Perfect. But jaw, it's more jar roll, J A R. Oh, I like that. And then I have two. I have an old one, and that one's name is Moses, because it has a napkin on its head. <laughs> That's how it's breathing. So I have two, but you're going to have to, I can't wait to hear what you're going to name yours. I know, I have to come up with something like really creative. I know a girl who named hers Little Dopey. Oh, that's you know, so cute. cute. Well, okay, I'm actually gonna ask her my TikTok. Okay, perfect, yeah. guys. Just so you know, I'm filming a TikTok, so like there will be behind the scenes, but if it's a little weird, it's because I'm filming a TikTok, so don't worry about that. Okay, ready? Guys, first things first, I dump all of this. I read the instructions, and I, aka I watched a TikTok. I'm kind of jealous this is how you get to do it. Yeah, right? Because it's gonna make me like it. Yeah. Okay. All of this. Guys, okay, so my recipe journal. Duh! Wait, what's on the back? Oh, this is the first batch. Isn't that cute? One, two, three. In my notes in my recipe journal, I wrote down 10 grams of starter, three tablespoons of water, rest one hour, but I need to mix this up first. So, just keep mixing it. Just a little. Yeah, it's not disintegrating at all. 
But it has to sit there for an hour. Just She just wants it to soak? Yeah. Okay. So I don't even need the food scale because I'm not really starting starter. You like I'm will. not creating starter. Or I will later. Oh wait. Yeah, maybe I won't need it. No, you will when you like, so when you put it in a big bowl, like the, when this is, yeah, whatever, to the top, you're gonna need like 250 <laughs> grams of this, like a lot of flour. Got it, okay. Anyways, you do this, keep it for an hour, and then we'll be back. Okay guys, we're gonna switch over, well, Actually, you guys can hire Jack if you want her to do your fall thing if you guys are in Dallas. Yes. Um, and also follow her for all of the fall stuff. We'll talk about that later. But we're going to switch over. I think this is what we should do is all my summer dresses need to go in here. And I think we switch it for outerwear. Yeah. And then all of those dresses come and we, we switch. That should all be outerwear, that whole rack right Okay. Think, Where like, do you usually keep your outerwear? You want like some I, right here and some right here? So I'm trying to remember because... God, all these belts are crazy. And then these ones. Oh, I don't even think. Did I even vlog the jewelry I stuff? I think you did. Yeah. Guys, I started on my jewelry and I did a big clean out in here. It was so. I wish I did it before, but I didn't because it looks really ugly. And now looking back on it, I should have. Anyways, I organized all my other jewelry and then this is just stuff that I'm pulling for more often than not. This is Golden Hour jewelry, by the way. I love golden hour and i love their founder so much these are all fossil watches i love a cute small watch like so cute sc collection keaton got that for me it's like really sweet and yeah all of this is amazing i can't wait for later this week when i have the rest of my belts but anyways we're gonna get going we have one hour we're really like oh, yeah. this is like I so this is so trad wife of us. I know, literally. <laughs> like sourdough and closet cleaner. I feel like we're doing things. No, I know. It, it looks so like weird. a like a cloak. Yeah, yeah it like does. You're very <laughs> One hour later, I just added two tablespoons of this King Arthur unbleached bread flour, and now I need to really mix this. We're gonna track where the sourdough was. Jack has some updates, guys. Okay, while you were working on your bread, <laughs> I made some changes. Okay, so over here, you know how we were gonna, well, no, wait. Right here, we had cardigans. Mm -hmm. It wasn't working because then I opened the closet and you still had a ton of yeah, mm -hmm. jackets yeah. and long coats. So, Here's all your jackets in blazers. Love. I threw the overalls down here as well. Okay. It's like a random one-off. Okay, all your coats. So even like the... That's empty now. Oh, amazing. So I, I cannot believe you got everything out. The big guys are over here. Wow. So they're all in here. And then this part is color coordinated. <gasps> so like all... Rather so than, stunning. Rather like all your long pieces together, but it was bothering me. Mm -hmm. So now you just have all your... Cream, gray, black, goes on. So dresses, long jackets, coats, bla or jack, coats, long dresses. No, wait, 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 wait. Coats and all of your dresses, and your okay. cardigans are here. Jackets, blazers, sweaters, cardigans. Stunning. And vests and puffers. It looks so good. And then, wow! I cannot Jeez. believe you got. Wow, see, like, this is what I have to go through this week. Like, it's really just bags. Yeah. Wait, which... where's my fur coat? The big one? Yeah. In there, over there. How did I? I cannot I believe. I oh, That's wow. Like... That, this thing is <laughs> so big. I wore that to, I love in it, Europe though. two years ago. I lugged that around New York, or Europe for an entire week trip. It was so worth it and it was also freezing so you know whatever. That, wow. That out? This like I wear over like workout stuff in the okay, morning so. so. Here, let's put it right here. And then we have like my shorts, all the stuff that obviously I'm gonna continue to wear right now but it's still right here so it's totally fine. But I am gonna organize this cause there's just like a better use of space. Also I should sell this vanity desk. No and this is like so exciting. I cannot wait for the rest of my belts. Okay, so Jack's a stylist. She's gonna tell us the fall trends. Can I predict? Well, okay, wait, I can yeah, just say what my favorite ones are right now. Okay. 
suede, which has been a favorite of mine for so long. Okay. Do you want me to tell you if this is on my list? Yeah. Too? How about we see? Tell me yours, and I'll. Tell we do you like three, match. two, yeah. one, suede. Okay. 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 No, I don't think you're gonna get most of mine though. Probably not yours. It's gonna be like Merlot or something. Or like, <laughs> is it? It's one of them. Okay. Three, two, one, suede. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's not working, guys. <laughs> I didn't know we were doing suede again. Okay. Three, two, one, suede, suede. with studs. Oh. <laughs> okay, I also yeah, like that. Suede. Um, so suede is basically all I care about. Um, you have a lot of suede pieces too because you've been in I've your suede. I've been in my suede. So yeah. you're, you're good to go Love there. That. Really like suede, suede with studs. I have to look at what I like saved on TikTok. I'll do that as you're Yeah. Talking. Another big thing is going to be rugby shirts, which I just, do you know what that is? Yeah. Okay, so rugby? it's like. A, like a rugby shirt. Yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> I don't know if everyone will. Because okay. it's like a polo, but you want it's... it a little oversized and striped. Yeah, cute. That's what specifically makes it a rugby. You can get a plain one. I just ordered a plain one from Revol Revolve, and I wore one in New York with shorts. So I'm already yeah, that's cute. rocking the style, which I love. Okay, so that, just because they're easy to style, um, sheer knits, specifically turtlenecks, so like a cute, simple, kind of see-through turtleneck. One thing about me, I love a turtleneck. You do? Love okay, a turtleneck. Good, good. Oh I'm my happy God, to I hear love that. a turtleneck. Oh, I saved this outfit. I really like this one. Cute. Wait, that one looks so like good on you. You know, another thing, studs on denim. No, I love studs on denim. I saw my dream <sighs> pants. The Reformation jeans that like everyone has. No, like, they're always wearing them when we go in. I, oh, I also really liked those. I don't even like. I know that Sambos are like so forever ago, but I like them because they're suede. But I'm not gonna buy them. Like I don't okay, like okay. them enough. But I like. I wouldn't be mad at you if you got those ones. Yeah, but I'm like. Oh, I was never. I never even wore Sambos, but I'm. Wait, yeah, you don't have any. Yeah, I never. You wore never them. did. But it wasn't intentional. I just like never did. Okay. It wasn't because I disliked them, but like I, I saved this because I liked that outfit right so there. So cute. How do you feel about the jeans? Would you wear those? Yeah, Honestly, I feel like, like they're like the ones. Yeah, yeah, I was wearing them earlier today. I love those jeans, by the way. They're my favorite. Okay, good. Loved uh, that jacket. This suede. Same. That suede jacket. I know that probably isn't thousand dollars, but and then this one, obsessed. I love that too. I've really been thinking about taking my extensions out and going a little bit darker. And I love having thick hair. Like my hair isn't really for length; it's for thick. Yeah, like thickness, volume. For thick. Is your hair thin? It used to not be, and then I got COVID. Don't yeah. Don't, don't get me started on COVID. But I only have one left, like one row in now. I have like a couple lefts, but it would definitely How be thinner. Dark. Like Jennifer Anderson and Friends. Yeah, I think you should. I'm just so scared because what if I like really don't like it? But I could also. I was thinking about it. It's not forever. I can go blonder if I wanted yeah, to your next can summer. Help you. Yeah. Do it. I think it would look so good on you. But I keep asking. We everyone. vote yes. I need everyone on the call on the. I have a hair appointment coming up really soon, so I have to make the decision. The m main reason why I've gotten like really into hair care recently, I used to hate taking care of my hair and like doing that yeah. stuff. And you're really into that Wow brand, huh? Yeah, never Color Wow. It. I love Orbe. I love. Oh, me too. And then there's one other one that I'm totally missing. I actually really like Bondi Boost shampoo. You do the new one. It's so amazing, and it like it makes you your like scalp tingle like a good oh, way it's really refreshing I and i like divi a lot too i like their like hair serum and yeah now that i'm like wanting to grow my hair and i'm eating a lot of meat you're supposed to help grow yeah. your hair but i feel like and my extensions my sister like does them so well that they don't hurt my hair growth no, no they hurt my hair at all so hidden too. yeah they're so hidden you can never tell Ever. It's not that like I think that taking my extensions out of my hair is going to make my hair healthier. It's more that because I'm gonna have less hair, I'm gonna be more motivated to like actually yeah, yeah, yeah. on these things. I and think you should. Why I don't not? I don't wanna have to like every time I dry my hair with extensions, if you have extensions you know, it just takes so long. Yeah, I bet. Especially with running, like when I'm running all the time, like I just, I don't know, I, I just, I'm kind of just over it. Which has never really bothered me before, but I'm really thinking about it. And I was having a bad hair day, so I pulled it back, but Wait, like... you have like no I, dry ends. And you're well, that's gone. because I've been using my product. Wait, it's working. Yeah, because I feel like my hair before was so, like I look back at photos and videos and I just put hair oil in. Wait, your but hair looks like I was so just scared good. of using oils for so long because I thought it would make your hair look like, oily. I didn't realize yeah, that yeah, it yeah. actually makes your hair look good. Yeah, like, just don't get it towards the scalp. Yeah. But yeah. even just like, I don't know, I've just been using products and stuff, so I've been taking care of my hair, so now I'm like, maybe, and like, obviously less bleach would be good. Yeah. But my sister's just really good at hair, so she does it in a way that doesn't like, harm my hair or make my hair fall out. What does she think about you going darker? 
<sighs> she doesn't really voice her opinion to me. She's just like, whatever. I know how that is. She's more so like, okay, well, I already, I got you all the way here, so. Right, like, now what? Like, she's just like, okay, well, it would take a second to get, which is fine. Like, I don't. Yeah. I always I've been thinking about it a lot, though. but I was going to ask you because I needed someone who would, like, give me good. Oh, it's two weeks from today. So, guys, you're watching this, like, and it's a week and a half away. So, I really need input. You have time, but I think you should do it. Like, I sent her this video. We're going to film some TikToks, guys. Um, Hope you enjoyed our fall trends. I need to find that suede jacket that isn't a billion dollars. I think I did find... I'll do a collection, like a shelf on my shop my of like things that I want for fall. <gasps> How much it's is Sandra it? Sandra too. It's four seventy. Yeah, so that's not the budget that I was looking for, <laughs> and that's on sale. Mm, wow, what a deal! I really, <laughs> I really want this exact jacket though. Like I've got to find it. Like that's so sick. Oh, where's it going? That's so perfect because you know what I'm like. I'll anytime, anytime I really like clothing, this is what I say. I'm like that's perfect for Worth. <laughs> like that's I what I say that. every time or I'm like oh I'm keeping that for Fort Worth I like, actually love that it's really like I need Fort to go to Fort Worth with you I know we I need, need to go show ASAP. me um, do you know how to line dance of course I grew up in Texas I I'm not kidding I need to learn yeah we oh, gotta can't go wait but like I will go to I literally go to Fort Worth especially in the fall and winter like I go as much as possible yeah I need to go that's when I come alive that's where Same. that's where I'll be leaving like you haven't actually met me yet you oh wait till you see me at Christmas. Wait, go, same, but wait till you see me in Fort Worth. Like, <laughs> I wait people are Disney adults is how I am with Fort Worth. Like I'm kind of a Disney adult. That's fine. Like, kind, of, kind of. I'm actually not a Disney adult hater. I think it's like me either. Like things. I was with my friend this weekend who actually is a Disney adult, and she was like kind of being like self conscious about it. And I was like, girl, if you like I just something, like the cool. outfits. Listen, no one knows how to turn something into a personality trait. Something that they like more than me. <laughs> All right. Well, if 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 I like Disney like that much. It Maybe. would be, my entire account would be, I would be like Kinsey the Disneyland <laughs> Can you imagine? Or something. Can you imagine that yeah, I, would, I would be like the Disney adult of all Disney adults. I'm like a subtle Disney Disney adult. I told Drew, don't ever propose to me though. Like I'm not that oh, yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. don't get down on one knee in front of the castle. All right, y'all. I just threw on this outfit. I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. So it's my favorite like low rise baggy jeans from Abercrombie. And then I have kitten heels. They're Sam Adelman. I have them in every single color. If you guys haven't, I mean, you don't need to get anything that I talk about, but like these are my tried and true. Y'all know that. Tank top is Cezanne. They're my favorite tank tops. I've realized that if you have a tank top that's like a higher neckline, this is probably common sense. It just looks better and more put together and like more dressed up, classier. I don't know. I like it better. Jacket is Shree People. I love it. It's like my grandma quilted jacket. I think it's so cute. I cannot remember where these are from. And then, yeah, that's it. My closet feels absolutely amazing. Like, I just feel so good in my house today. We've had a very productive day of getting things done at home. I feel amazing about it. These look so stunning. I've got to plant some more flowers. And I just love it. Oh my god, I'm so grateful that Jack came over and helped me so much. Alright y'all, good morning. I just fed my sourdough starter. I added two tablespoons of bread flour, one tablespoon of room temp water, mixed it all up. We're gonna let it sit in there with the lid slightly off. So far, I'm loving it. Okay, remember when I was drinking hot coffee and I was drinking out of this mug or the green one every day? These are the best mugs. It's a company that did my uh, garden beds. Last night at dinner it was great. I actually have a dinner that I'm hosting tonight. It's not a dinner party. We're doing an editor's dinner with Bondel, which Bondel, I think it's like the most genius company. It's a makeup subscription company. I talked about it a while ago. You guys remember my friend McGuire? She's been on the podcast. She actually is an amazing podcast listen and follow. She also has Social Bird Rose, which is great rose. Um, she's an entrepreneur. She goes into her like career on the podcast. A great resume that like, she worked for Kylie. She's done like a ton of stuff. So she's really smart and like moving up in your career and doing all these things. She just gives like very good career advice, but she's a girly and like she's fun. She's cool. Um, anyways, she has a consulting company and she consults for Bondell. So we are doing a dinner tonight for editors. I get on my call. I've been so into hair care recently, like unbelievably so. I've been using all this like Orbe stuff. Like I've been loving doing my hair and I used to hate doing my hair. Like I feel like I just wasn't good at it. Um, but now that I'm like randomly so into hair care. I'm 
ready for dinner today. I was mainly just on my laptop. There wasn't much to film, but I'll show you guys what I'm wearing to dinner. I'm unsure about it. But anyways, I'm wearing this top from Dams and Matter. It's actually quite big. I ordered it to wear it as like a borderline dress. I wanted to wear this just over the skirt and like have it peek out. But it wasn't really like giving what I wanted it to give. And I still don't feel like it fully is, but at this point I'm wearing it. So let's just let's just get with the program. This is an old blazer. I will link a similar one. And then I have this black mini skirt off from Abercrombie. It's such an amazing mini skirt. Surprise, surprise. My Sam Edelman kitten heels. I have my bag. I have my dinner cards, obviously. And then I'm gonna have a ton of product that I'm bringing for the editors. So it's gonna be a really good night. I'm really excited. Um, I need to pack up my car because I'm bringing a lot of things and get going with my night. Oh, my sunglasses are made well too. They're like the little round ones. I wore them a lot in London. Do you guys are a vlog viewer? Is this your first vlog? When did you guys start watching my channel? And what videos on my channel do you watch? Which ones do you skip? Be honest, be honest, it's okay. I feel like people like week in my life's at home for the most part, mainly. I don't know, you guys tell me. Anyways, I drink a little bit too much coffee. I'm a little anxious. I need some Lemmy Chill. Um, and I actually just got a package from Lemmy and I was like, oh my God, thank God I need Lemmy Chill. And literally everything besides Lemmy Chill, which is fine. I love Lemmy and I love Lemmy Sleep. I actually am a huge fan of the brand. Like the stuff is really good and really works. Lemmy Chill has been sold out like everywhere for so long. And I'm just like begging for it back because it genuinely helps so much with anxiety. Anyways, we're off. I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get going and be businesswoman. Good morning, y'all. I'm back from my morning workout and it is sourdough feeding time. There are a little, there's some bubbles in here, not many. Tomorrow is supposedly when it's supposed to start bubbling up a lot more. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, one tablespoon of filtered room temp water. All right, so here's what we're at now, and then tomorrow I'm adding more in it. So tomorrow it's supposed to really start growing. Which is exciting. Hopefully we really see some things happening. Guys, next week I'll be baking, I think. I don't know. I don't wanna I don't wanna like count my eggs before they hatch or whatever people say. Okay, by the way, guys, I well I try to get some protein in like right after I run or work out or whatever. These are my favorite. I know I've vlogged about them before. These like protein shakes. I know they have ones that are 42 grams as well, which is crazy. They taste amazing, okay? And then normally I'm not super into stuff like this because my mom is very like you know ingredients matter like that kind of vibe but I love pop tarts like I love pop tarts and these are like a better for you version 20 grams of protein whatever that I don't care about anything else the only thing I pay attention to is protein they're actually really good like I should put this in the air fryer really quickly um, but they're amazing like I love these things so I'll have them in my shop my under like my running thing because it's just important after I run if I eat something with protein within like 15 minutes I find that I don't crash as much throughout the day like if I don't I get really tired throughout the day so I like to have things like specifically this but these are really good update I found a vanity that I like that's like an antique looking vanity on a basic marketplace that I'm gonna pick up tomorrow I just measured it seems like it's gonna fit I definitely need to like refinish it and stuff but it looks great has good storage too which is rare for like an antique piece so I'm gonna start cleaning out this closet <laughs> Big, so it might have to like actually kind of be more centered, but it's lower and the mirror flips up So hopefully This shelf isn't in the way, but I'll have to figure it out because I can also like get more in here We're gonna do a little bit of a haul. I just got a package in from Everlane I'm of course lighting my fall candles left and right Jack's actually on her way over because we're gonna film Some content she's gonna do some styling stuff and I think I'm gonna film a little like garden tour Who's in closet tour kind of thing, we'll see. Anyways, I just wanted to sit down with y'all. Maybe I'll get a little closer. Okay. 
Okay, so first things first. In here we have a sample collaboration that I'm doing, not with Bondel. Separate. I just put it in this bag to get to my closet, and they're stunning. I'm so obsessed. Anyways, okay, so Bondel. It's actually a really genius concept. I know I touched on it before. I've had the brushes before and I really like them. It's a makeup brush subscription company. There's basically this study that was done on makeup brush that had been used for like six months. And then there was one that had been used, same thing, six months, but it had been cleaned. The one that had been cleaned actually had more bacteria on it because of like the water or something. And they also have like a lot of like sustainability efforts so, like makeup brushes are a really big thing when it comes to skincare. Like you're buying new like moisturizers and stuff all the time. But these come every three months, and it's just kind of the basic, like, makeup brushes that you would need. I wish I had a code or something to give y'all. Anyways, it's such a genius concept, especially if you are having trouble with acne. I would really consider doing this, just because it makes such a big difference. And then I just got a package from Everlane. I'm doing, um, like, Instagram stories for them. This isn't paid, but I... Love the stuff that I saw. They're gonna die at this haul. Hello. Oh my god, Jack is gonna be so excited for me. Like, I'm obsessed with like a barn jacket. I was actually thinking about going to the ranch tomorrow, so we'll see. Okay. I had to style like three looks, so these are all just from these three looks. Hello. This is just so good. These are barrel jeans. I love barrel jeans. My overalls are barrel leg, and then I have a pair of jeans from Madewell that are barrel leg, and they're just so flattering. At least I like my body type. I love them, so these are nicer looking. Okay, so this is just a little cashmere classic sweater. Another sweater. I really wanted some like simple basic sweaters too, just for the season. Like this is the white t-shirt under and just some jewelry is so cute. Barrel leg. I think these are the same jeans. Yeah, just in a different wash. Love a barrel leg jean. I finally got gray slacks. I've been wanting like a monochromatic gray on gray moment for so long. I don't know. It just like got in my head and I needed to wear it. So we've got some gray slacks. Maybe I'll actually wear it to church on Sunday. We'll see. Same basic t-shirt, but in a more like oatmeal color, which I just thought this was like so cute and cozy for fall. This is the gray top, the gray pants. I love a high neckline. Y'all know that. I'm so into high necklines right now. Some really classic, just black ballet flats. Okay, I'm becoming a loafers girl. I love these. We just have some brown loafers. Jack is going to be so proud of me for my loafers. And then the brown version of those ballet flats. These are just very classic looking. I think what I need to do is get really nice looking baskets for up here and then move like all of my denim in here. It's taking up a lot of space because it's just denim so it's thicker. Put that in a like box, you know, so then I'll have less and less and I can really like summer dresses would be so easy so I have more like space in this closet. Um, so if you guys have good, really nice looking box suggestions, you send them my way. All right, y'all, Jack's over. She just styled me in an outfit for the garden. Hello. Normalize styling yourself for an outfit <laughs> in the garden, you know? Like, here we go. I need hunter rain boots. Immediately. So bad, like I thought about it two hours ago and I haven't even been able to stop thinking about it. We're I need find green some. and I need the short ones. With, With your barrel jeans. Yeah. yeah. And you just got new barrel legs, so more of a reason. I have three, four, oh, five. so cute with your... You have overalls. overalls yeah. yeah. Two of them. We need those are overalls. I have the same overalls, those free people ones, but I have the two different washes, but you can barely tell them they're different. So it's like, I feel like everyone, like, that's my Sims character outfit. I feel like yeah, everyone yeah. thinks I'm wearing the same overalls every day. I'm not. I have two. I think you need, like, color, like the color of that jacket, the brown, tan one. Yeah. You need barrel legs in that color. Yeah, agreed. <gasps> With the boots. And brown and green. I need all of it. Yeah, I'm gonna find you some. Okay, you look cute. So it'll be fun. Do you have your Yep. Perfect. Here's a little update on the garden. I just watered everything. I'm trying to remember what this looks like. All the cauliflower, but um, I'm not thinking it looks like that. So it's worrying me a little bit. And here's all the greens. I can't wait for this stuff to grow. Got some more stuff down here. It's very exciting. And then that's going to be the cut flower garden again. I'm going to do the chaos method, which is where you just throw a bunch of seeds, all right? You guys, really please join me this season in being a gardener. 
start with an herb garden or a chaotic cut flower garden. I'm actually gonna film with Bobby some TikTok videos on like how to start a garden, how to start an herb garden. Like if you guys are wanting to get into it, obviously not to the ex ex extent, I know I'm a psychotic, but you can do it like really easy. It's like a one single pot at your apartment. So we'll have that stuff like soon. Okay guys, Jack also styled me for a dinner party. It's kind of hypothetical, but there's always a dinner party going around. So here's my next look. And we're gonna go shoot a hosting closet tour and a bunch of other stuff. A lot of this content is on Jack's TikTok too. What is your handle? Just Jacqueline Hand. Jacqueline Hand, yeah. It'll be on the screen, um, so you guys can go see all that. But I have a lot of TikToks of like the actual like styling process and stuff. And we're doing like I love this audience. Sorry. Prediction vibes and like you yeah. know, we'll see. It's good stuff. All right, y'all, it's seven on a Friday night. Jack just left. He spent the afternoon really getting content for both of us, and then I shot some stuff for like a friend of mine. He was very productive. Honestly, it's really fun as like an adult woman, <laughs> makes me want to throw up, to like play around in a play. This makes it sound, ew, like, but like to like play around in a closet with your friend. That sounds so stupid. But it's just fun. It's a creative thing to do. Obviously, we've been talking a lot about like style and random stuff and like I'm helping Jack with a lot of her content, which is like what we've been doing. And it's been like we've been helping with, we've been helping each other. It's just really fun and it's very it's just like a fun creative thing to do. I've never tried this before. This is the plumping mask, raw honey, clay, rose hip seed oil. It's just a bunch of like organic ingredients good morning y'all happy saturday i just made my coffee here it is my little bats my juice icons so cute i've got a long run this morning so i'm drinking my coffee i'm gonna eat a little something we've got five miles one week from today is my 10k which is so exciting i literally cannot wait but this is my last long run until the 10k so that's exciting um, I'm starting a little bit later than I thought, but the weather outside is so beautiful. It's like chilly out right now. I can't believe it. It feels amazing. Like when I left the dogs out this morning and went to the backyard, I was like, this is a dream. I wanted to show y'all my sourdough starter. So we're actually about to, we're on day four now, um, and I'm going to feed it. We're adding more. Like recently, we've only been doing two tablespoons flour, one tablespoon water. Today, we're doing half cup flour, quarter cup water. So it's going to grow a lot more, but look at the growth from yesterday. And it's really bubbling. I'm really, really loving this journey. It's, okay, you guys, my hand. Like, I won't be addressing it, and thank you so much for giving me my privacy during this time. Thank you. Mix this up. I, oh, I guess I should move this spoon. I hate how much is left on the spoon, but I just can't get that back in. Okay. Okay, so this is what it's looking like now. The band has moved up. We're gonna see how much it actually goes. It looks confusing just because there's some mess on the sides. I was trying to scrape down things on the side and it wasn't really working today, but this is where we're at now. We'll see how it goes later. Okay, starting my run. Oh God, I just finished my five mile run. I feel amazing. I'm like really not even that out of breath and I don't really feel fatigued. I could have kept going. I ran at a slower pace, so I did like, I think it was like 11.15. But honestly, I felt so good. The weather was amazing. I rolled out this morning and I ate pasta for dinner last night and that is why. y'all so I want that to be centered I eventually want the you know the baskets we've gone through this so I'm gonna get rid of these two Alex drawers I'm not gonna get rid of them I'm gonna use them in my garage because they'd actually be really helpful so I'm gonna move these out the problem is I threw all these tote bags in but again I need baskets so once I get baskets it'll be so helpful This is so perfect. I didn't even know if this was gonna work. And it's perfect. And I can put all of my stuff in here. And then I have these drawers. 
Oh my god, it's so nice. The only issue is the lighting isn't going to be amazing, so I have this ugly, like, vanity light that will kind of be in the interim until I figure out, like, what I want to do. So, I don't even know if there's a plug back here. You might have to use an extension cord. It's going to be annoying because the product will be underneath, so I feel like I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have this ottoman that the problem is that... Like, it doesn't fit underneath fully when I need to close this. Like, maybe I'm done. All right, y'all. I feel like this entire week has been filmed in this closet. I got so much done. Maybe not as much of the garage, but don't worry about it. That's going to be another project, an entire wellness project. And we've got a lot of things to do there. So we'll get to that. But the closet so much progress has been made i just ordered a bunch of stuff i'm gonna move like my sunglasses and the next i would say like week or two this closet maybe i need a little more time is gonna be like actually perfect i mean it's like my favorite room ever anyways but it'll be like amazing and done you guys get what i'm trying to say i was supposed to do a lot more of the garage but hey Okay, we did get some stuff done, and it's good, okay? I did get rid of some stuff. You guys didn't see that. Anyways, I just had a meeting with... I'm hiring a video team for the podcast. For our podcast YouTube channel, go subscribe if you haven't already. And they came by today just to test some stuff out for the scope they gave me. Because I just need to like, make sure what we're renting for this week is good to go. And I am so excited. Like, the podcast quality of the show is about to, like, skyrocket. I am... So, 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 so excited. That is it for this week's vlog. It's Saturday, like 3.30, and I need to edit this video to be out for you guys tomorrow, and this is gonna take a very long time. Oh, we did the garden, too. We got a lot done, all right? A lot. Anyways, I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in my next video, which will be so fun, because Keen's coming, and we've got a big, big week.